Hey, Firebirds. This is your girl, Phoenix Alexander. Welcome back. Okay, so one of my lovely, lo lovey, one of my lovely subscribers had asked about my birthday party and my engagement. So I figured I would get into it. We would talk about it. Plus, I'm going to need y'all help because initially I said I wasn't going to have a wedding. Uh, we, we'll get into that. We'll get into that. All right. So... <laughs> My birthday was March the 29th, and that's also the same day I got engaged. So I told my family I wanted to go to a Japanese steakhouse um, restaurant called Kabutu, which is located here in, like, um, they have one in, like, Baltimore City, like, near the Inner Harbor, and then they have one, um, like, in the White Marsh area. While I'm getting dressed in the house, I noticed my fiance kind of like just hanging around a little bit, but I couldn't figure out why. Um, and then he, you know, went downstairs, started the car, brought the car around and everything. And when I got in the car, he seemed a little agitated or a little disappointed, but I couldn't figure out why. So just file that away for right now. <laughs> See this or whatever. So we're getting together. Everybody's having a good time or whatnot. Um, and at this point, you know, me and my fiance had been together for like six years. So he was with me before I got sick and then throughout the experience of me being sick. So he's, you know, cool with the whole family at this point. So we're all having a good time. And, you know, funny thing to mention, because I have like pictures and stuff that I'll put in here. Um, my brother ordered this huge drink. He said it was nasty, but it was beautiful. They set that bitch on fire and everything. So that was really nice. Um, so the guy who came over to handle our, um, what's it called? The Tapanyaki Grill. Don't judge me. I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so we get there and the Japanese guy, he's, you know, doing his tricks and everything. And I'm like, Ooh, okay. So, you know, we are a, a religious family, you know, so we're, <laughs> we're sitting there. My mom's all like, everybody hold hands you know, bow your head so we can give thanks. So we got our, our eyes closed, thanking God for this moment. Next thing I hear, I'm like, what? This man is sitting there interrupting our grace with a damn horn, like a little clown horn. <laughs> so I'm looking up like, oh, okay. And it was literally like, anytime somebody wanted to have a private moment, if we wanted to have something that was not about him and his performance, oh, he beeped that horn. He beeped that horn. Like, I know you mofos see me over here flipping broccoli and shit. You're not going to talk about your future. You're not going to talk about what you want to do in your next year of life while I'm flipping this broccoli. So he's flipping the broccoli and everything. So okay, no me. I'm going to send it to you. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't So then he has like this bottle of sake and that's like, um, it's rice wine, right? So he has this bottle of sake and he has it in one of those squeezy bottles. Like, um, you know, you go to the curry out and they put the ketchup and the hot sauce in the squeezy bottles. Did they do that way all that? Anyway, so he has a squeezy bottle. He's just like, open your mouth. It's your birthday. So I'm just like, what the hell's going on? So I'm like, okay. Yeah. Homeboy's like, so I'm getting hosed down. Mind you, y'all gonna see the pictures in the video. I have on a white dress, okay? So I'm sitting there like, all right, well, hopefully none of us get pulled over tonight since he's just sake and everybody in the face. So everybody getting it in the face. My father's all, <laughs> My brother's all red in the face. He's getting sockeyed. Everybody's getting sockeyed except for my homegirl. So my homegirl Danielle is next to me. And mind you, let me just say, she is immaculate. You know. So you can't tell her nothing now with this bag she done got over here. Corella the Bell. Ow. That's right. Fire. you see 
see <clears throat> how you see a person and you you just know that person has money. And if hear her tell us she don't. She's like, I, I got a little, I'm I'm doing okay, blah, 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 blah. That Japanese man recognized that designer makeup on that bitch face and he literally just swerved her. Like, everyone but you. He didn't even offer her. He didn't even give her the, eh? <laughs> she didn't get that. So she was like, I would've did it. I would've did it. Like, no, 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 no. He knew. He has done this job long enough to know, like, oh, that looked like expensive makeup. She looked like she's wearing something more expensive than the average person in here. My outfit was from Shein. Hers was not. She had on, like, a $2,000 coat. <laughs> like, yeah, don't sake in that corner. Do not sake over there. Um, So after that, we have a really, really great time. The food was really good. It was, like, a ridiculous amount of food or whatever, and they're all chopping and flipping and setting shit on fire and... <laughs> I had an amazing time while I was there, y'all. And, um, yeah, so we go to leave, you know, we head home and, you know, I'm with my boyfriend at the time. I'm like, yo, yeah, you know, that was a great time, blah, 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 blah. So we get home and I go into my work room. And just to show y'all, like, my work table is chaos, usually. Even right now, it's still a certain level of chaos because this is where I do all my nails. I do my recording in here for my business. So I'm just going to swivel this so y'all can see what was on this table. All right. So, yeah, all of that. All of that. Nail stuff, hair stuff, makeup stuff, marijuana stuff. Anyway, so <laughs> he apparently had put my ring in a black, it was in like a black wooden ring box. But he had put it on my table before we left. So he thought that I was going to find the ring. You know, do all the, let me get my life together. Hold on. Oh, wait, we doing it, we doing it, okay. Good enough. All right, so he thought that I was going to find the ring in the house and, you know, put it on. <laughs> be all, oh, baby, yes. I didn't see that shit because y'all saw what the table looked like, okay? And the box blended in with the table. So I'm in here, I'm, you know, relaxing, getting undressed, and he's, like, in the doorway, just standing there. Like, what are you doing, weirdo? He's like, nothing. And I'm just like, what is going on with him today? So I'm still messing with stuff, and he's just looking in staring some more and i'm just like what so then i look at my table and mind you i had been in there for about 15 minutes y'all i ain't gonna lie i was in there for like 15 minutes putzing around doing some stuff while he was standing over there looking all you know weird and shit like look if you're gonna murder me don't do it today it's my birthday <laughs> but no then i finally saw the box i'm like huh something over here looked different so i Originally, I had asked him for a charm bracelet, um, so I thought it was a charm bracelet. And I've mentioned on numerous occasions, like, it's been six years. Like, uh, hello, you going to put a ring on it if you like it, bruv? You going to put a ring on it? <laughs> but in all honesty, me getting sick had, um, it changed the whole trajectory of everything. You know, like, one minute, everything's going good. We, you know, we're ready to take that step. And then I get hit with like a terrible, you know, terminal illness. And it's just like, okay, how is life going to look for us moving forward? So I actually found it kind of, um, kind of reassuring that he spent three years with me when I was actually like really coming into myself, you know what I mean? Like I was really in a career that I loved. Um, I was moving and shaking. I was making money. I Everything was doing great. So he had three years of me being that person. And then three years of me being the person that I've grown to be now, you know? Um, and so to know that he still chose me was just like... It felt really, really good to say, well, we chose each other. But anyway, so I find the ring and I'm just like, 
you know, I'm stunned. I am stunned. I feel like he did a beautiful job. I absolutely love my ring. I think he did an amazing job. Um, but here she is for those of you who have not seen her. Gorgeous emerald cut with rose gold, which is my favorite. Um, so he did a beautiful job. And um, yeah, of course I'm like, yes. <laughs> And it was so exciting. Like, my whole family was like, oh, I wish you would have done the restaurant. Like, well, if I what if my table did not look like a tornado hit it that day, and if I had paid attention, then I would have worn it to the restaurant. Y'all would have gotten to be a part of that. However, um, what I did was the next day I went and bought some um, what are they called? Munchkins from Dunkin' Donuts, like the little donuts, right? And my mom really likes the chocolate one. So I was like, I'm going to surprise. I'm just going to get some, some, you know, donuts. So I knock on her door and I'm just like, hello, mother. I have your, I decided to give you, you know, a little breakfast treat. Homegirl grabbed my arm, pulled me in like, oh my goodness, girl. <laughs> and I'm like, I know, oh my goodness. And she's like, did you have any idea? Like, I didn't have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't. Um, I really didn't. I hoped. I was like, well, I don't know when he's going to do it, but hopefully it'll be sometime this year, you know. So I'm really excited. And originally I said I didn't want to do a wedding. I was like, uh, it's expensive. I really don't want to deal with it. And um, it's expensive. Okay. Can we get into that again? So, um, but now... I think I'm going to do like a small ceremony. I'm going to try to keep it as cost effective as possible because you know your girl's on disability. I ain't got no money. So if anybody has any cost effective wedding ideas, please list them down below in the comments. Help me out. I'm thinking um, next year in the fall because this everything's just rolling too fast, okay? I can't do it this year in the fall. But next year in the fall, I think it'd be perfect. That'll give me a year to plan everything. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have some videos coming with, coming guys, okay? We need to go find cake. We need to go and find a dress. We have to find shoes. We need to have the wedding hair. We need to make sure my fat ass can fit into the dress at the time. We gotta figure it all out, y'all. And I'm gonna need y'all help to do that since we getting married, y'all. We are getting married. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so thank you for listening to my crazy ass um, birthday party slash engagement story. And like I said, I will include little videos and pictures of when we went out to dinner because that was really fun. And I have to say this, uh, sidebar. So my bestie wasn't able to make it to the family dinner. So she did wind up taking me to this restaurant for brunch on... Um, that Saturday or Sunday after my birthday. So like the 31st or whatever. If you are in the DMV area, you have got to check out Milk and Honey. It is a black owned restaurant. Um, I'm gonna have to ask her for some pictures because she took pictures, okay? I, my hungry ass was trying to eat. I saw that food and smothered biscuits and all this other stuff. And um, yeah, my diet went out the window. I didn't care about anything at that point. You know, but my boo, we cried together. We put the ring up in the air like we won the goddamn championship. <laughs> so I got to make sure I include some pictures of my other boo. You know, so I just have such an amazing circle of people around me at this point in my life. And I just feel so blessed. I can't wait to see what God has in store for the next chapter. But y'all roll with me, okay? We need to figure out our wedding, okay? Because I'm I'm $3,000, all right? $3,000 or less. Now, my mama says she's going to pay for the dress. So we're going to be checking out some dresses since mama going to pay for it. But it ain't going to be a lot because, you know, we don't want to break mama for one day. Or do we? Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. So I will check you next time, y'all.